Ok! Pa -pa -ra -pa -ra -pa -ra. Stop it! Get some help. Last part, guys. Last part. We are here. We're gonna do the armature. I myself am still quite confused with this entire concept. I mean, oh, the first time I heard armature, I'll be like, mate, I don't care about the arm bone. I want the bone, mate. I want no snake have no arms for bone. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bones. Now, took me a long time to find this out, but find it out I did. Okay, guys. So here we are going to start really getting into the bones. You won't find a video about this on YouTube. I'm just going to make a short clip. I'm going to post this as well because, man, was I looking for this video. So I helped myself. <laughs> I helped myself today. All right, guys. The jump on this empty, drop in the arrows. And what you're going to do, is you're going to come from this view. You're going to rotate it minus 90. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just go back, go back. Don't do anything. Go here to your constraints and you're going to add a follow path. Right, your numbers path, and you're gonna see it uh, when you do fix fix position curve and follow. You're gonna see it automatically turns. Right. So what you want is you want to turn rotate minus 90. You want the x to be on the x axis, and then you're gonna rotate minus 90 again from this angle. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the y up in the air. Everything's fine like that. Right, and you're gonna insert a keyframe right over there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate it. And you're going to put it at 0 0.1, 0 0.01. Let's just put a 0 0.1, 0 0.02. Let's just put it at 0 0.02, guys. So we're going to work at 0 0.02 intervals. Right. Keyframe that. Duplicate it. 0 0.04, keyframe. Duplicate, 0 0.06, keyframe, all the way. Okay guys, so the last one, so you're gonna have something that looks like this. So it's 0.2 intervals, and then the last one from 0.48 to 0.495. So that's gonna be point one five interval so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your frame uh, as it were we said 210 so you're going to jump over 210 frames you're going to make the last empty it's the last one make offset factor one keyframe you can see it goes to the end now this one you said point so it's going to be point point nine eight five guys and now we're going to go to, oh, this is going to be a little bit confusing. 0.965 then for this one. So we're doing the exact opposite in the beginning. From the beginning, we started from zero up all the way. And then at the end, you're going to start the last one at one and you're going to come all the way back. We go 0.965, the next one, 0.945. And the easier, easier way to do this, guys, you can see your MT selected over here. So you can just go up, up, up next one so this one was 0 0.945 0 0.925 and just go up okay guys so you should be left with something like this all right and this took me hey to try and find figure out how this thing works so this is what you guys should be seeing following along the curve those empties like that Okay, that's what we are looking for, guys. Obviously, we don't want stretching in our snakes, so we're gonna, we can't just put on a curve. Now, guys, very simple yet practice going on. Should see to reposition the cursor. Add your armature. What we're gonna do, you're gonna take it over there, you're gonna extrude it, right? And you can just shift R, because they're all the same intervals, except for the. Mate, get out of my way, bro. There, and then up to the last one, over there. Okay, guys, you're gonna have something like that. Now, go into edit mode, so tab, edit mode. But this thing looks like it's 
um, it's supposed to be yellow. Frickin', this looks like closed mode to me. Okay, this is edit mode, all right? Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to the first one and you're gonna say, Alt P, clear parent, right? And you're gonna go click on all of them, Shift R, Shift R, Shift R, Shift R. Watch out with the Control Z Shift R because you'll just, you'll repeat the undo. So if you misclick or you do something, rather just, rather don't uh, shift R then. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about, mate. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm so lost. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So we removed all the parents from that. Next thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to go into now. This is a little bit of work. That's why um, it's actually supposed to be more bones. But obviously the method that I'm doing it, we're going to get away with this. We're going to add more bones later. But uh, unless you want to sit here for an hour and do all this work, and just watch, just check it out, guys. Okay, so now, control tab going to pose mode, not edit mode, right? I searched long and hard for freaking stuff here, and you will not find it. That's because I was looking in the wrong place. We're not looking for constraints. We're looking for the bone. The bone constraint. There's a huge difference between the constraint tab and the bone constraint tab. You want to go to the bone constraint tab. That's where you're going to find, first of all, the user child of, right? So that one's plug and play. And you're going to go to the next bone and you're going to say shift R. So give them all child off. Okay, when you're at the last bone, you're going to give it another one. Which is going to call track two. You're going to give it track two and you're going to shift R all the way back. Okay, once you got that, you're going to change this track to, to Y, Z, and target Z. All of them. And an easier way to do this is you go down to your armature. You can open your armature and open the pose. You see there, bone one. So all you do is down arrow on the keyboard and you go to the next bone. Y, Z, target Z. Next one. Y, Z, target Z. Next one. Y, Z. Wank, 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 wank. guys so now you should have a child of an attract to on all these bones remember the, these bones are still separate from from the head it's not the same so what you're gonna do is you're going to child in a child all these bones child this bone to the first empty right so it's the bone is a child is parented to the first empty wherever the first empty goes the the bone is gonna follow because the bone is a child and uh, Empty is a parent, if that makes sense. Now then you're going to track to the empty after. So it's following, so it's being, it's following the first, the first empty, and then it's tracking the second empty. So wherever the empties go, the bone go follow along. Right, if you guys, if you guys, if that makes sense. Right, so you just go and do that. Ah, uh, sorry. This bone, first one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my friend. You there all right guys so I just ran into a problem here so what's gonna happen if you go into pose mode so let's take this one for example and you try and child it to the previous empty it's gonna go somewhere else and this has happened to me many times before and I just went and I did the entire process from start sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but what I found is if you set the click the set inverse boop it's back where it's supposed to be Okay, guys, so I just found that out. Yeah, so all of them, choose that one over there, set inverse, and that bad boy over there. Okay, guys, so let's go through it. Okay, guys, so once you finish that, you should get something that looks like this. Boop, 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 moves along over there. That's exactly what we want. 